Hello from Computex 2018. I am Ari and we are at the Calling booth. We are going to see an overview of the products of Calling along with Mr. Philip Fab, which is the product manager. Hello there. Yeah. This is Mr. Philip Fab. Please give us an overview of what we are going to see here. I will help him. Of course. <laughs> so, Philip, here is a mining PSU that you will. Be, uh, when this uh, will be the list, actually? It should arrive in the European market around September time. It has 2,000 watts capacity, as you told me. And uh, do you know any price uh, information for this? We are aiming for 259 euros or 259 USD, depending on the market. And the uh, core feature of this is a 12 watt only power supply. It does I not do, feature I, any other rails. Only 12 volt. Yes. Uh, 12 volt, sorry. It's 12 volt only. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, the platform is from Enhanced Electronics. Uh, Philip allow us to allow us to open the PSU and take a better look at the channels. Uh, as I can see, it uses a two-fan configuration instead of a top-mounted fan, like most of today's PSUs. Uh, you've told me that this provides better cooling at the internals. Yeah, the heatsink simply can be larger. Also, it's based on a server-grade power supply design, and small fans are still popular in server segment of the market. Are, not, are popular in server, not popular in desktop PSUs because they're too loud, right? Yeah, this power supply will be noisy, but it's not made for home use. It's 100% made for mining farms, like having several hundred systems in large holes, and noise is not a criterion there at all. It's all about reliability, and this is one of the power supplies which is actually designed for mining from the very beginning, so we can offer full five years warranty even for tough mining use. 24-7, 40 degree ambient temperature, five years. and it's full five years. Five years. And also it has one really nice feature, it's actually got a master slave mode. Oh. This switch here, yeah. if you put it on, it's always plus 12 volt here. And if you switch it off, it's in slave mode. Yeah. You connect it with this connector to a second power supply and it powers up at the same time. Uh, so you can control one uh, multiple PSUs through a master PSU, right? Exactly, because if you're using like 10 or 15 graphics cards on one board, um, you will need lots, lots of power. And those are much better suited for mine than regular ATX power supplies. Let's move on to the second interesting PSU here at Colink. It's this one. Uh, you told me that this is a special design uh, PSB, especially for Colink. Right. Yeah, I think it's a big step for every brand to have a custom PCB design from the very scratch. It's not based on any other OEM design, so we can hit a really nice price point. Uh, it's fully modular, 80 plus gold certified, performance will be okay, it's not aiming for the high-end market, but it will be the same price like regular fixed cable power supplies. So what price are you looking forward to uh, for these models? Um, that's a 700 watt model and we are aiming for around 75 euros, which will be like aggressive. 75 euros, yeah, that would be aggressive indeed for a fully modular PSU. And uh, we see some SFX and SFX L units. This is a passive PSU. Uh, I think I have seen one similar to Silverstone. Does it use the same OEM? Yes, it's enhanced. This one is high power. Uh, when those two would be released? Uh, that depends a little on the chassis schedule um, because there might also be a new chassis coming later this year and for this project we need more power supplies. At the moment we are finalizing R&D design, we have a couple of more things to fix. So also aiming for September, October, but that's still not 100% confirmed. So thank you for watching, please stay tuned for more videos.